Hi everyone, welcome back to another Thirsty video. I got a lot of really great response from the first Thirsty video, link down below, of uh, coffee milk. And so this is the second installment of the drink series. And I found this a little while back in my Asian grocer. And I would never seen it before. It's called Basil Seed with Honey Flavor by Dee Dee. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? It says shake well, basil seed with honey flavor. Can you see that? They're the seeds, I'm guessing it's basil seeds, and they're in suspension. How amazing is that? They look like frog eggs. It's gelatinous. See how it's moving? So cool. So it reminds me of chia seeds. Uh, have you heard of chia seeds? Um, for those of you that don't know what chia seeds are, they're like the chia pets, the ones that you smear the seeds on and you water it and it grows. Same thing, seeds. And I guess you soak them and then they turn to something similar to this. But this is done with basil seed. And I looked it up and I guess it's popular in South Asia. So places like India and this is from Thailand. And this is really popular. And it says to serve it cold. So this has been chilled. It smells kind of florally and sweet. I wouldn't say necessarily honey. It smells a little artificial. It smells a little, smells a little bit like um, pandan. So let's pour it in a glass to see its consistency. Ready? Oh! I was thinking it would be really thick, but it's like a water. And the seeds just pour out. Maybe you can see it better in this glass. How cool is that? I love it. They look like little spawn awaiting my consumption. Let's taste it. Here we go. Kanpai. Oh, kanpai means cheers in Japanese. So, kanpai. Wow. That's wonderful. I love it. They squelch in your mouth. It's terrific. They're like little pieces of jello and kind of just squelch in your mouth. I was expecting them to be firm because the black part is the seed and crunchy, but they're not crunchy at all. They're just, it's text, it's a textural delight. It's similar kind of to like tapioca or like boba, if you think of something being in your drink, but not as, not as, mm, not as substantial. Those would be a little bit more evident. This is a little, like you could swallow these without chewing them. Like boba, you actually have to kind of chew and work a little bit before you can swallow. This you can just down. The flavor is quite unique. It's something like pandan, which is a neon green colored flavoring that's used in a lot of South Asian desserts. It's really hard to describe, um, but it's got a very specific kind of almost sesame seed flavor, similar to that, and very kind of, uh, similar to pandan and a little bit of floral. A little floral and a little bit like banana, like artificial banana flavor, which I actually don't mind at all. I usually don't like banana, but I really like it in this. Oh, I should say that there's no basil flavor at all. It's not overly sweet. The level of sweetness is maybe something like a strong fruit juice. Very fun. I was really skeptical about this because I'm like, I don't know. That's a little bit wacky, but it's delicious. I love it. I would definitely buy this again, and I would definitely drink it again. I love it. Um, it reminds me a little bit of um, grass jelly drink. Have you ever had that? similar kind of flavor and a kind of similar kind of refreshingness to it because it has more substance to it. Basil tea drink. Highly recommend it. If you see it, you should try it. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in my next video. Toodaloo. Ciao. Bye. Oh, here's a little known fact. My pinkies are really short. Pinkies are supposed to reach that line. Mine is significantly shorter. Look, both sides. Don't know.